Um, so, here we are in a 1v1 small phones match. Um, possibly my least favorite matchup because you always run the risk of getting into a 1v1 with somebody who's pretty good and then, I mean, you're sort of, you're sort of doomed no matter what you do if they know what you're doing, they're doing because, um, I mean, they outnumber you like, like a lot to a little. Anyway, so my setup for this battle was pretty skimpy. Um, I'm sort of fixated on taking veterans. I really hate taking Ashigaru because I love my guys to hold the line instead of breaking. Um, so I took a half-dead unit of Naginata Samurai. I think they're like level 5. A uh, level 5 unit of Bo... No, these are uh, not veteran at all. Bo Warrior Monks. My general. This is after I switched to a melee general. Because um, I don't know if I remarked earlier. The, um, the advantage of the melee general on small funds is it basically gives you an entire new unit that will that can take on Yayashigaru, which is really, really important. Um, and the leadership general is just honestly not worth it on such a small map, especially if I'm taking high-level veterans anyway and I'm not taking Ashigaru. I mean, yeah. Anyway, so his deployment over there, he's got four units of Yari Cavalry? Yeah, Yari Cavalry. No, some are like Cavalry. Oh, that's right, he has, he has like a 2-2 two -two split. And um, some Lone Swords, Yari Ashigaru, a couple Bo Ashigaru. Um, to be honest, I was a little scared of this setup here, because one unit of Great Guard and a General still might not be able to take on two Yari, two Light Cavalry and a General if he micros it right, but whatever, here we go. Give it a shot. Um, I mean, I obviously know how it turns out. It's a replay, right? Uh, so, like I said, the minute I saw that he had so many Cavalry, I sent my General over to support my Great Guard instead of doing this silly little slow thing, which I was... I was thinking about maybe trying to surprise them. Some people don't pay attention to what's coming from behind. Sometimes the mini-map, it starts minimized, and you can't really see your dudes on the map unless you're looking around, and the black banners hide in the trees pretty well. Um, these guys I just sent over here, if I remember. Yeah, I sent these guys over just to hold a defensible position in the woods because I didn't want them to get flanked or destroyed. I wasn't going to go for that. I definitely wasn't charging the hill with four times my number in infantry. Even a veteran unit wasn't going to last very long. Um... So I was getting a little nervous because my whole plan sort of hinged on him noticing that my great guard were there and sending some guys to intercept it, and he finally did, but it took him a while. Um, and luckily for me, he only decided to send his general, a Yari cavalry, and a light cavalry. The other light cavalry and the other Yari started going over to the shrine. I guess he thought that he could handle me three on one, which he probably could, even though my great guard are level eight or nine or something. But instead, he decided to go after them, and I don't even think he noticed my general. So I form these guys up in a wedge, send them to charge forward, and with 55 charge bonus, Yari Cavalry don't stand much of a chance. Um, yeah, they got... Yeah, they got... Oh my god, they got really killed. Um, and then, oh, it was perfect. I think I bonsai my general and slammed him into their general on the side. Pretty much the perfect outcome from this skirmish, considering he only, he only sent half of his guys. I hit his general. I mean, I couldn't really ask for more than that. So, um, sometimes, yeah, yeah, I know my general's in great danger. Sometimes you get lucky, and you just gotta go with that as well. Um, <laughs> small battles, no matter what happens, are usually a bit of a toss-up. It's always fun, though, because, um, you know you're gonna have superior forces. They just simply can't possibly have, uh, unlocked them yet, because they're rank 1 or rank 2 or whatever. Anyways, um, He's still got a sizable force left. Luckily, he's charged up the hill, which gives me a big advantage because they've decided to tire themselves out. Uh, his cavalry finally, I guess, noticed that his general has been killed along with his other guys. And um, I decided to send my bow monks at them because I'm thinking, oh, look, red morale. Maybe I'll hit them with a fire arrow and they'll panic. I didn't realize that they had Yari cavalry. I thought he only had light cavalry, so I was hoping to rout him. And instead, I'm pretty sure I just got all my bowmen killed. Uh, the point-blank volley did just about nothing to the Yari Cavalry, so they decided to kill all my guys. Um, it was okay for me, though, because after noticing that my cavalry were coming, they, instead of trying to charge down and take out my infantry, tried to go back into the woods, which means I was free to send my Naginatas to kill their cavalry off because he didn't disengage. And I decided to go balls to the wall, send my general to the side, and have my long line of inspired great guard tie them up here. I mean, once the general's dead, you know you're going to win anyway, but you still got to be really careful because if you hit something wrong, like your general runs into some guy's spear, you can still lose, but instead they all ran away. Man, the morale loss from a general is just crazy huge. 
I'll be honest with you, most strategies on 1v1 small funds just involve killing, <laughs> killing their general in any way possible. Anyways, that was that one. <laughs>